I tried to get their attention more. And then I came across with the idea of brain. Because I'm not a neurologist, I'm not a scientist, but I learned that if I can get their brain, I can teach them because each part of our body has a function. When it comes to learning, we need to be aware of the brain's facts, not like a neurologist, but as a teacher. So let's go very quickly. I asked the question, what goes on in my student's head? And I found out the idea of neurons. The neurons were like that. If you want to join me, you can do it. Um, you can see your arm um, showing the neurons parts. This is the axon part, this is the uh, neuron part, and these are the dendrites. If our students learn something new, something very new, it doesn't matter how important it is, the neurons connect with the other neurons axon part. This connection is learning. And if we can um, make this connection clear and stronger, it means that the learning stays forever. If we don't do anything, if we don't repeat the information we give, if we don't um, teach the vocabulary the way they like, the connection gets broken. So they, start, they end with forgetting it. Sorry. And this is the very general picture of neuron. And in, a, in, a people, in the people's brain, there are 1,000 billion neurons. So it's so miracle. We can do whatever we want if we can use it with the kids. Very, very general. Of course, there are other parts of the brain. But my favorite one is the amygdala. This is like the heart of our student's brain. If we can get the heart of student's brain, we can teach them however we want. Learning occurs in this part, in hippocampus part. But if amygdala is not interested in learning, if it's not having fun, then it hijacks the hippocampus, so learning is not the way we see. That's why as teachers we firstly get the heart. We must be funny. If there is no fun, there is no meaning for the kids. Let's do whatever you want in a funny way, not a strict way.